one of the challenges which people here in Badin, south of Sindh, are facing is the loss of their livelihood. People uh, relied on agriculture, farming livestock. And this is one of the poultry farm. which is surrounded by deep water. And the road further up is also covered under water. There's another poultry farm here. also destroyed. It probably will take about two or three months before this water will naturally evaporate. Because the water is still now and the temperature is warm, ideal conditions for mosquitoes to spread malaria and dengue virus and flood areas which eventually will result in large number of deaths if immediate actions are not taken by the government this road is uh, leading to Badin city. This is one of the rural parts of Sindh on the outskirts of Badin. Seven million people are suffering directly as a result of the devastation, the floods which are covering miles after miles. Land underwater. Over two million children. Also suffering from waterborne disease. And I don't think Pakistan government can manage the relief efforts on its own. That's why I believe the international donor community will need to act fast.